Gucci Spiky Skyrim, she's delicious Aquarius. Welcome to your love tarot reading. Today we are going to take a look at you and your person, whatever that means to you, situationship, relationship, bumble date, new marriage. Let's take a look at Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and their person. Please show me in Charles what is happening here for May 2023. Also Aquarius, we are assuming some kind of a rift or separation between you and your baby. Somebody, they feel rejected, okay? Your person feels rejected. No matter what happened here, they're like, okay, fine. You don't want me, Aquarius? Then I'm over it. It says over it in the sky. I'm like, man, this person's got like over it. They're like, they got the t-shirt, over it. <laughs> childish, you're dealing with a very childish and mature person. In mind, body, or soul. Let's see what happened in the past to make the situation so. They feel like they want to send you a message, but if they do, they're blocked or you're not gonna listen to them, or you're just gonna outright reject them. This is a breakup that happened here. This is, you know, like some kind of a break, some kind of a silence. Uh, Knight of Pentacles, uh, someone's someone's taking their a sweet time trying to fix the situation, but they do wanna fix it. Like whether they're going to be successful at it is another uh, another question, my baby, baby. Let's see, baby, what happened in the past to make the situation so? Also Aquarius, welcome to Blue Angel. I love Tarot. If you are new and if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you, I appreciate you, I love you, I see you baby, give mommy a kiss. Mm. Aquarius, you know you're my favorites because I'm a Scorpio, but I'm always dating an Aquarius. So there you go, always friends with the Aquarians. Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Let me know in the comments below if you love Scorpios too. Four of Swords at the bottom of the, of the deck. Someone is having a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of rejection, a lot of sleepless nights. They, maybe they told you that. I can't sleep. I can't sleep at night. Is it guilt? They feel rejected, but it's something they did, baby, because Aquarius is always very fair. So you would not have, like, you know, done anyone dirty. You wouldn't have just, like, like rejected someone outright. Like, they just feel rejected. Maybe you ghosted somebody because their behavior was unacceptable or you didn't play the game they were trying to play with you. The Four of Pentacles here, uh, coming from them, this is somebody who, if it's a bimbo himbo, anyone between you met on Tinder on a Tuesday, was really closed off. Uh, you know, they came into the connection like not sharing too much about themselves. They're not telling you the whole truth of themselves, of their soul, of what they want in life. You know, they're just very closed off. It was like getting, you know, emotionally, it really was like getting um, blood out of a stone. I had a pentacle, someone very focused on their work, on their job, tying their identity to work, uh, scared of love. This is the energy. Scared of love, scared to put themselves out there. Could have been, um, could have been like a bookish or like a slightly nerdy person that you were dealing with. Uh, if you date boys, could have been like a nice guy who wasn't so nice as well. The uh, two of pentacles here for you. You were in two minds about this person from the beginning. You're like, what is going on here? Uh, I don't think this is a douche food necessarily, boo -boo, but I think this is somebody who is very closed off, didn't know how to treat you right, expected you to just like take whatever they had to give and it wasn't a lot, could be an avoidant, you know, avoiding, avoiding feelings, avoiding emotional connection, just like not giving so much. So many pentacles in the past. It's all like, you know, rock solid, like hard, like as a rock. It's not very flowy. It's not very airy energy. It's not very, you know, it's not very conducive to love energy. And now they feel rejected. Um, they feel like they effed it up with you and you know, that's it. Hmm, maybe you blocked them or left them on red because you were like, I don't like this behavior and I don't like that this person is not, you know, showing up for who they truly are. But these energies can switch as well. You know, maybe they claimed up as well. If it was a more established connection, it was someone who was not giving to you anything. They always made you feel like you had to, uh, you know, juggle uh, things around them. Like you had to uh, constrain yourself to their emotions, make yourself smaller, cater to them. And this, and you were like, and I think they were leaving you with a lot of messes, either like personal messes, like if there was conflict, they weren't showing up uh, to you as a, as a couple. They were showing up, you know, like you had to like juggle your own problems kind of thing. Your problems were your problems and their life, you know, they just didn't, didn't help you a lot emotionally. They were not your rock. They were not your support. They were not your scrumptiousness. They weren't give you, making you feel like you were in a couple or you were doing all the things. And if you had a household together, they were leaving you with all the household messes. Somebody very closed off, very emotionally unavailable, very focused on their job, running away into their job to, to not face their emotions. 
This person inherently has an issue with vulnerability and love, and this is how why they behave the way they did with you. Queen of Pentacles is how they see you. Can queen anyone in between? Gender is totally arbitrary, but this is somebody who sees you as their one. Like you are the wife, husband, anyone in between. This is it for them. <clears throat> but they mistreated you and they know it. But now they're feeling sorry for themselves. Like, how could Aquarius do this to me? But it's like, you know, especially if it was a more established connection, like a marriage, you were like telling this person for like four years, eight years, two years, like, please change this. Please do this for me. I really need this connection for me. I need this and I need this. And they were not giving. And then now it's over. And they're like, well, how could you do this to me? Well, because I kept telling you. They know, I think they sent you a message already for some of you. But you got them blocked or like you left them on red or something like that. Or they're psyching themselves up to do that. But it's very difficult for them. Um, you know, very stroppy kind of energy. Seven of Swords and their intentions. They want to sneak back in. <laughs> they want to sneak back in and they want to know if you're going to have them if they do. They're not sure. Ten of Pentacles. I would expect some kind of a communication and attempted reconciliation from this person. Um, you know, I mean, this is your May 23 energy. It could still be happening in May in the next 10 hours, 10 days, or, or 10 weeks, or in the 10th month of the year. This person will be reappearing to do the right thing. Do you want this person back, Aquarius? I don't know, but boo, it's all about free will on this channel, so it's up to you. Always take everything I say with a grain of salt. I am just a random woman on the internet with an inflatable alien <laughs> in the shot, so you know how it is. It's the internet, but let's get some advice from my baby Aquarius. Grim Reaper, something's over here. So, you know, the advice here is like, if you take this person back, I think you need to start like totally on a clean slate because whatever they were doing before was not, um, did not make you feel invested in and was not serving you. So, you know, this is also maybe a lesson in, you know, when it's knowing when it's over. Uh, and if they, and if you do take them back because they, they don't want to let it go, they see, you know, this is a very pentacle person. Maybe it's an earth sign or very like unmoving in some ways, but you know, Take them back, but start again. Like really start like afresh. Zero it out and see how you go, my baby. Uh, so this is what I have for you today, Aquarius, my baby. Let me know in the comments below this is your story. Also, if you vibe with your, your channel, oh my gosh, well, it is your channel, it's our channel. If you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button and like the video, because that really, 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 I seriously though, baby, it really helps me out. So do subscribe if, if you can, do like the video. Um, if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. And music on this channel is by my sister from another magical Mr. Gondura official. Check her out. She's always also linked in the description box below. I'll see you next time, my baby. Stay spiky, stay good, just stay moisturized. And may the angels protect you. Mm -hmm.